Madam Chair, I'd recommend we leave this record open for public comment for 10 days. This is not a public this comment. Is not a public. This is this is a right now the law um, just looks for per public comment with reference to um, developments okay. in tier three. This one's in a tier four, mm -hmm. so therefore um, we are following the regular rules, which are at this point the planning commission would either move to approve or uh, to approve the uh, the uh, preliminary plan. I believe there was an earlier suggestion, and I believe Mr. Lesner agreed to add a note to the plan. That may be uh, something that you would wish to do. Thank you, Council. So would you. I don't have money. What do you. All right, um, Madam Chairperson, I would move that the Planning Commission approve the preliminary subdivision plan entitled Washington's Discovery XPN number 14-0006 and the Planning Commission find there are adequate public facilities to support the project and that the Planning Commission adopt the findings and recommendations incorporated within the staff report, which is dated August 8th, 2016. Uh, an addendum to the recommendation was added for rain barrels, I believe. So I would uh, also append it to the staff's recommendation to include um, in the homeowners association bylaws that uh, the requirement for use of rain barrels be included. Second. Okay. Uh, it has been moved and seconded that um, this preliminary plan be approved are you ready for the question? Um, I would like to discuss it before we vote. Is that possible? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, for the record, I do not think, I cannot vote in favor of this uh, uh, proposal because I do not believe that the applicant has satisfactor satisfactorily demonstrated that this uh, meets all of the criteria for superior design. First and foremost, I do not believe you can, uh, in, my, in my judgment, that a property that is 30% conventional already can be superior to, uh, to that, uh, it can be superior design to conventional because 30% of it is already conventional design. Secondly, um, when you go through the list of design criteria and you document it with the, uh, the superior design benchmarks that uh, the staff has come out with uh, dated September of 2015. Um, the design criteria one, open space exceeds the amount required by 1.39 acres or 2.1%, which is minimal. And I would add that the fact that the applicant has chosen to do this as a mixed conventional and cluster the open space is considerably less, considerably less than what would be expected for convention for uh, cluster subdivision. Is you, you no, I'm sorry. I, I thought um, number one uh, a. I'm sorry. Um, the findings say that um, I'm sorry. Uh, Lorenzi Dodd and Ganell's findings say nearly all the sensitive environmental features have been permanently protected with forest conservation easements. And I am concerned about uh, the buffers and parcels B and D that will be violated, the, the DNR recommended buffers. Uh, the forest conservation uh, superior design criteria two. Uh, the forest conservation designs exceeds the county and critical area. And uh, if you look at the benchmarks, these forest conservation easements uh, exceed by 6%, and the benchmarks uh, recommend exceeds requirements by 10% or greater. Um, the proposed facility includes shared pedestrians and bicycle facilities, and we've got a bike rack provided. Uh, but there is no share. We're not inc encouraging the use of uh, transportation 
of walking and bicycling transportation in lieu of driving or taking away from driving. Um, the, we have panhandle lots. We have to also approve that specially because it, they, they exceed what is allowed in the code. Um, and while I understand the justification, I don't think it demonstrates superior design. We've dealt with the rain barrels. That's great. Uh, and then the last two conditions, um, loop roads are provided with the development and a limiting of cul-de-sacs. Now, the applicant is saying that those aren't applicable, and I understand that there might be reasons for, for saying that this is they're not doing it because it's more impervious surface, but it doesn't make them not applicable. The idea for cluster design, one of the criteria for cluster design and the idea for creating a cluster design is to create a, a sense of neighborhood. Uh, again, quoting from the uh, benchmark guidance, the goal is to have projects that have a neighborhood street network and not just an entrance with cul-de-sacs. Streets that connect build a stronger sense of community, enable greater community and for automobiles and pedestrians. Ms. Shirtley? Yeah. Um, Madam Chair, if I might. Um, we brought up these issues for discussion. I didn't know whether or not you wanted to get some input from other your, other your colleagues. I don't know if any of them may wish to uh, propose um, perhaps an addition, some addition to a comment, since these are the issues that you're raising. But I just want to make sure it is that everybody got a chance to respond to the issues, the important issues that you're bringing to the forefront. Okay. There, there is a motion on the floor, mm -hmm. and there were no other comments. OK. None in response to Ms. Shirtler. Unless well, we're in discussion now. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. So we're just mm -hmm. in discussion now, but mm -hmm. I just wanted okay. to make sure that everybody got that mm -hmm. opportunity. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just, I was finishing up with, uh, I don't believe that the client, the applicant has, ad, has shown that this is superior design. All right. Um, well, I, I do have one question. For the uh, panhandle lots, do we, have to approve that for the preliminary plan? Um, as part of that design, yes. As, for, as part of the preliminary subdivision plan? I think, uh, Mr. Lesner, this is the time for the board's discussion. Mm -hmm. Nancy, had you completed your discussion? Yes, yes, I, I think I have. Any I further to... discussion? I think Mr. Barnes has a question for us. Yeah, still have a question on the floor. So there's a motion. So yes, you are approving the design concept as presented. I'm sorry, sir? You're approving the design as presented. Okay. Mm -hmm. The panhandle lots. And that doesn't have to be a separate approval for the panhandle lots? No. Okay. It's all one. Yeah. Okay. If, if there's no further discussion, are you ready for if I could, I yes. was just approached by um, Mr. Mr. Lesner, who is wishing to request that this be withdrawn, or at least deferred. I call the question. I'll withdraw my second. No, I just called the question. So there's a motion on the floor. Already been, second the call it had been seconded. We yeah, already moved take to discussion. Right. We'd have to take the vote. Do we have? Do we have to vote on the calling a question first? We have to vote on calling the yes. question first. Mm -hmm. Give it a second. I'm sorry, you seconded. Mm -hmm. Okay. All was the, let it be known by you individually, Mr. Bond. Can, can, can we just call? make sure that we're sure what we're voting on? Okay. Okay, so the request now is to call the question to move forward with the vote. I just, prior to calling the question, Mr. Lesner approached and asked whether or not right. we could defer it. Um, I don't know, I can only surmise that any of the issues that may have been brought about are issues that he may wish to address. I'm just throwing that out there. At this point, okay. there's- So they're not voting on the project right now. You're no, voting- no. Mm -mm. Just to call to the To call the question, okay, thank you. And who, who moved it? Okay. Mr. Shirard seconded. And you and, 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 and seconded. 
that we are now voting on. Whether or not to close discussion and vote, take it to a vote. Okay. So it's just the quote. You, you're not you're not voting on this. You're voting on whether or not to, to stop to vote on or stop discussion and whether or not we go ahead and vote. Oh, yes. We um, all in favor of stopping discussion and moving forward with the vote. Let it be known by. Um, Would you like Miss Pickerel to do a roll call? Yes. Uh, Robin Barnes. Opposed. Opposed to closing. Opposed to closing. Okay. Rosemond Day. Four. Wayne Magoon. Opposed. On your last. Angela Sherrard. Four. And Nancy Shortland. Four. And I'm last. Opposed. You're opposed. Okay. I would now like to withdraw my second. Okay, so we have three opposed and three four. Mm -hmm. That's that motion. Correct? Does not carry. Right. Doesn't carry. It doesn't carry. He's going to withdraw his original motion of approval. Do we have to vote on that? I'm sorry. Say that again. Do we? we um, you don't have to vote. I on understand that. if. All right. You don't have to bring a vote. To withdraw the support yeah, yeah, for the yeah. motion. That's like the person wishing to go ahead and withdraw the motion saying okay, I'm okay, withdrawing okay. the motion. I just want to be sure. So there's no yeah. motion on the floor at this time? No. Well, he, he withdrew a second. I'll just withdraw the motion. Okay. So then that should make it done. So you're back to where you started? Correct. <laughs> Is there any other? I'd like to move that we defer this for perhaps correct corrections from uh, the applicant. Do I hear a second? Well, no, do, no. do we know that there are? Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's but deferred. I, they what wish I can, to withdraw it, so correct? Right. The, what they want to do is withdraw it. Or, I'm sorry, defer. And what's before the Planning Commission right now is the applicant's request. Basically, he's asking to defer any decision on his request. And I just okay. move that we do that deferral. Is there a second? Okay. Yes. You so can what, ask what is it? What is Would it? you speak into the microphone? Oh, so what is a deferral then? I can. I understand. It drawing. delays your decision to another meeting. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah, I'll second the motion. And quite frankly, if if I might. I don't see any reason why not. If I might, I mean, just as a matter of administration, um, if um, Mr. Lesner or perhaps the attorney had gone ahead and submitted a request to defer any action on it prior to this time, um, typically it simply would have been rescheduled for another agenda. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Sagan, are we in discussion then? Yes. Yeah, I, as far as discussion, I don't, under, I don't see any reason why not to. So um, if any of the other board members have a, I definitely would love to understand I, what the I, issue would be. I clearly suspect that there's some corrections that, that are, are going to be considered. Um, there were issues brought up by some of our members, and I think uh, perhaps that the applicant wants to address those prior to, uh, prior to bringing this to a decision. Is there a statute on how long this is going to be deferred, or um, I know... Uh, no. Um, personally, as far as I can tell, um, if uh, an applicant wishes not to uh, bring something forward and knows that he needs to have approval by a certain period of time, right. um, it's really at their own risk. I, I do suspect they're going to want to come back very quickly because they want this approval before October 16th. Yeah, I just am not sure why uh, when we have a quorum, why we wouldn't. I agree. Wouldn't go forward with it. Why we wouldn't do what? Well, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, we have a quorum. I'm not sure why we would not go forward with it. I mean, it would be one thing to withdraw an application before uh, we spent the evening talking about it, as opposed to well, looking I, up and counting. But I think you also you, you brought up some valid points that he may want to address. And they would have to be completed by all. By October, we'd have oh. to have them back in time right. before October sixteenth. Right, you'd have to be able, to and it has to be put right. on the agenda I mean, before I think that time. You, we're already mid, we're already in August. You, you in gave August. him, you gave him the suggestions. I know I didn't give him suggestions. I was saying that I didn't well, think that you, the, well, the development right, met the requirements. You, you showed him your opposition, and I think he wants to address that opposition. 
I'm putting words in his mouth. I mean, this is a work session, so it's unfortunate it's not a public hearing or an opportunity for the for the applicant to come and really speak well, on behalf we, we of his project. We let him talk project. earlier. We can let him talk for himself now. Mr. Lesner? I mean, there I'm, is no I'm motion having... on the floor, so actually if the commissioners wish to hear from him, he can, if you want to hear, hear his request directly from him. <laughs> well, he's already requested to defer, so I'm, I'm sure he wants... He doesn't want, I don't know, um, <laughs> to say anything else at this point would. We could give him that opportunity if he wants to. If one of okay. the, if he asks Mr. Lester, would you, would you like to ask for it to be deferred? To say anything further. That's not a motion. I would yeah. gladly say a few things to try to answer some of the questions. Why don't you come forward? Well, we need to have a motion on the floor for following procedure. Yeah, during, no, during, no. while we had the motion on the floor, it would not have, it would not have been in order for him to, to actually address any level. So is there a motion on the floor? We can't bring him in as part of discussion. We've got a motion and a second. Why can't we bring him in as part of discussion? Be because there was not a motion and a second to have Mr. Lesner come back and speak. No, there's a motion and a second to defer it, and that's, right. he, he's got some input on that. Why? And Nancy was requesting why. Were you not requesting why defer? Oh, no, now my question is... <laughs> and no, what are we no doing? <laughs> what the heck we're doing? <laughs> I think the real issue here is whether or not um, we wish to have this matter deferred. I believe that what Mr. Lesner would like to do is simply say whether or not he would like to have this matter deferred. Oh, whether you'd have go for a vote? Is that a yes? Would you like to have this matter deferred? Is that I would like to defer the matter. I, I would like to bring it back soon. I think there's only two meetings in September. I don't even know if there's another meeting this month or not, but there's only two meetings in September. So in two to four weeks, I'd like to be back before you. And I, you know, Ms. Shirtler certainly brought up some, some issues. And um, given the opportunity, I think I could explain those. Um, they, most of those weren't issues that were brought before me when I was sitting here. So. Mr. Ball, can you have this back on the agenda within the time yes. that they need? Yes, we could. He's saying he can have it back on the agenda. Right. So, so, so then, I'm sorry, Ms. Theobald, so then my question is, it's going to be another work session or it's going to be this, when the, the, when the applicant is going to come back, I mean, are we going to do this back and forth? Because it's no, either gonna, a work session here or it's it not is a work session. But just, okay. Okay. So there's a presentation of the preliminary plan. The staff goes ahead and gives its report. You're given the um, applicant an opportunity to go ahead and present and answer some questions. That's what it is that I believe the planning commission had already done. Right. There was a motion that was made to try to go ahead and uh, say approval. There was a lot of discussion. There were some issues that were that were raised. Um, the question then became whether or not he could go ahead and defer the uh, project moving forward. As I'm understanding, it's the motion that's being made to go ahead and defer it. He's actually gone ahead and asked directly that the Planning Commission could defer it. And up until this point, we were all surmising what he might want to do. He's already said he would like to go ahead and have an opportunity to come back before the Planning Commission in a short period of time to address any of the uh, concerns that may have been raised in discussion after the period of time when he would have had an opportunity to really engage with the Commission. Because I think the big issue is that when there were issues raised in discussion, there was an open motion on the floor and for to for him to have gone ahead and tried to uh, interject into that that would have been potentially out of order so essentially what we're doing is at this point the question is he's asking the planning commission can this please be deferred to come back to another day all right and so, my my question is to what effect is uh, is, uh, is are there going to be substantial changes to the plan that we've been voting on is that is that what the deferral is for, or is it to get uh, an uneven number of Supreme Court justices? Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> um, That's well, my concern. I would say that I second that motion because things were brought up that in the discussion period that were not addressed to staff or him, and I don't see a reason why, if those are you know material you know issues, we don't get additional information on them. So I'd like to defer and have additional information on them because. Some of the things you brought up, I hadn't 
couple, several of them I hadn't thought of. I'd like to have more information on them. So. No, and, and it's really, it's the question is, would Mr. Lesner come back with the same information or would the, would there be adjustments in the preliminary plan that staff would have to review again? That's uh, mm -hmm. because I wasn't making, I wasn't asking questions. I was pointing explaining out. Why she, explaining your position. Yeah. And I'd, I'd love to have more information either refuting or supporting that position. They sounded like, you know, some of them I agreed with, and I'd like to have, have more information. So if I have an opportunity to do that, I think this is a uh, meaningful way to, to get there. But wouldn't that be another work session, though? Well, this it would be another work work presentation. A presentation. Yeah, so we would start we back to, work mm -hmm. to the drawing board. Mm -hmm. Because yes. there may well be the case that given some of the comments, the um, staff would go ahead and uh, potentially beef up a condition. And the condition may be, I mean, I, I, actually the condition that you raised with reference to the uh, uh, including um, a comment for the HOA, um, that was something that they were willing to go ahead and do. So to the extent that any of the other comments are things that they may be willing to go ahead and add as additional um, uh, um, conditions to the plan to address some of the concerns may in fact, and, and like I said, I'm not an engineer, I'm not a developer or anything like that, but I just, they were willing to do that at, at, on one issue, don't know. Okay, and so, then that, but then that may trigger another staff report. Is that correct? It's going to trigger another There's staff, staff report. report. <laughs> <laughs> staff doesn't want to hear me say that. Yeah. <laughs> Mrs. Lesner has asked to defer um, the project Washington's discovery, and I think we need to accommodate his request. I just have one more question, if mm -hmm. I may, um, to Mr. Ball. Then my question would be about the um, the grandfathering clause. Where does that fit in if this cannot be accommodated or we're obviously spending a lot of time here that perhaps some of the, um, the agenda items would have to be postponed till next time? Well, well, we'll put it back on your, we'll ensure it comes back to you in time to meet the deadline if that's your desire. And I have this feeling that Mr. Lesner will be at your door, Mr. Ball. If they don't, <laughs> if they don't, we'll give them deadlines. If they don't make it, then they won't be there. But it's up to you. There's, I think you're, you have a motion and a second on the floor. Are you ready for the question? All in favor of accepting Mr. Lesner's uh, request for d deferral? Let it be known by the usual sign. Aye. Aye. Roll call. Huh? Ms. Pickerel. Roll call. Nancy Shirtland. Opposed. Angela Sherrard. Opposed with comment. I think that we have a quorum here and um, we could have accomplished this t tonight. Um, the presentation was made, uh, there were inadequacies and I think that we should have accepted that. Rose Mandea. Opposed. Wayne Magoon. Four. Robin Barnes. Four with comment. I think that it's in fairness information was presented. I, as a board member, would like to have additional information. I think this is a route to do that, so uh, I am for. And Joan Jones. Four. Again, we're tied. We're going to pass this matter at this point and um, allow DNR's uh, presentation to go forward. To, before we do that, should there be a motion on the board to not move this project any further for the record? Sure. I, I think the board needs to vote to deny the project if you're not willing to defer it and you're not willing to approve it so there's a clear record of your action. And if you tie on that vote, it fails and the project is denied. If we tie on the vote to deny it fails, right. Doesn't That's my forward. understanding. If it does not move forward. It right. does not move it forward. It does not move forward to approval. Yes. I don't think that constitutes denial. Okay, well, I'll and defer, it, I'll defer it to our legal counsel, but okay. I still think it's you should so do what it happens for the to record. It if it doesn't, so there's yeah. clear, um, the record reflects your, the, the situation. That would be my advice. My, think, would, oh, I'm sorry, please. my thinking is that it just simply cannot move forward on today's agenda. They will have to be presented on another agenda. 
He's not withdrawing his application. I'm sorry, I can't hear you. He's not with, I'm sorry, he's not withdrawing an application. If you decline to take any action on it, there's no action on it, and the matter continues as an active matter where an applicant still wants to proceed. It's not proceeding tonight. It will have to proceed to another evening. So then we didn't even have to take a vote. Not really. I mean, you're going to, you've got a vote that says go, and you've got a vote that says don't go, and they're both tied. Well, we haven't made the other one yet, but that's probably yeah. the assumption. So it moves forward. I mean, or it, goes, it doesn't move well, forward. Well, it doesn't, or move, or it doesn't move forward. It have to come back to the board. That's right. why we have an odd number of members. Mm -hmm. Right now we don't. We didn't get a majority vote, so I don't know how you can have a decision either way. You can't, okay. which, which is until, until there is something dispositive, the applicant's application is still active and pending and has to be addressed. Isn't, I thought isn't the, isn't the vote to approve that fails essentially a denial? Yeah. That's yeah. what I thought. There is no vote to deny. That's the thing. But is it a vote to deny that fails approval? No. Just, it doesn't move forward. It works either way. Yeah. That's, it just I, I, I agree with Mr. Bali. Just it doesn't move forward. It doesn't yeah, move forward. Know. Not not at this session. Okay. So, uh, Ms. Theobald, will you repeat your um, instruction to us? She said, "Go back on another." That agenda? this will go forward to another session. This is going to end up going to another session. Did okay. I already hear a motion? I, to no, I thought. Okay, then I'm confused. I already heard a motion to, de to deny it, right? No, we, I mean, I, th I thought the no motion, if the motion to approve doesn't pass, I thought that meant it's denied. Now are we saying we have to have a motion? That's not no, what she's saying. It just does not, move, it does not move forward as an approved preliminary plan. Not tonight. Not tonight. And since the applicant has a majority. If I may mm -hmm. interject, I mean, this project has been under review for two plus years. We've put a lot of time and a lot of treasure and a lot of effort, not just Lorenzi Dodds and Gunnell, but staff, hours and hours and hours, not just local, but state also. There's a lot of people that have had a lot of effort that have gone into this. And you know, I'm not asking for a vote tonight. I'm just asking for a deferral. You obviously brought up some very, I'll say legitimate questions. And given the opportunity, I think I would like to respond to those. I think we can do this in a very timely manner, bring it back to you in two to four weeks, whatever staff can accommodate. Um, I think I can do it where I don't even change the plan. I think I can respond to you in writing so you can see my response. If some of your things, some of your items, uh, require a plan change or a note or a condition, we can make them a condition. We do it all the time. You do it week after, you know, month after month at all your planning commission meetings. All your plans have conditions. We can easily do that, just like the rain barrels that were brought up. That would be a condition that I would either, you know, you would make that a condition on your approval letter. So I think a lot of the issues that you brought up or other folks brought up. I think we can do that in a very timely manner. Um, doesn't even necessarily need to have staff's review. Um, they can certainly put their input in on the staff report um, to concur or not concur. But I think they, I think staff has done a great job in putting this together. But I just think it would, in all fairness, I, I'm respectfully asking that we be allowed to come back in you know, two to four weeks. Um, to address the concerns. Okay. Ms. Theobald, you said that can be done and you can get it on the agenda. Okay. Well, you know, we'll, we'll uh, discuss it with our legal counsel after the meeting, make sure we're all in the same position to move it back or not. So if we're voting that um, it, it doesn't move forward tonight, it still basically will move at another session. Yes. I mean, it's basically the same thing. Mm -hmm. That's it's said. the exact same the thing. Yeah. It's just that we, we can't reach any conclusion tonight, right. but it will move forward at a later date. And my concern is, as, you, as Mr. Lesner said, there's been a lot of time spent on this plan, 
and I don't, I'm not sure why we shouldn't finish it. Um, he, he, and because I believe most of my concerns are pretty, uh, cannot be con uh, fixed with a condition. Mm -hmm. All right, um, we still have quite a bit on the agenda. Yes, Can we move can. forward and, and we'll yeah. have more discussion on this at another time? Okay, thank you, Mr. Lesson. Thank you. We now, um, 